I'm Matt Willis, Public Health Officer from Marin County, with an update for February 2nd, 2024. Yesterday, the CDC released the results of a large study looking at the effectiveness of the new COVID-19 vaccine that was released last fall. I'd like to summarize the findings and explain why they're relevant to us in Marin. The study found that among the 9,222 study participants tested over the fall and winter, those who had gotten the latest vaccine were 54% less likely to have symptomatic infection than those who hadn't gotten the vaccine. This study helps answer two important questions for us. The first is how effective is the current vaccine at preventing mild illness and infection? And the other is how effective is it against the current active JN1 strain? In short, it's good news on both fronts. We've talked a lot about how vaccines prevent serious illness and death, especially for people with risk factors. And that's certainly a life-saving benefit of vaccines and the reason why we continue to heavily promote the vaccine in our older, more vulnerable residents. But many of us have not seen ourselves in that high level risk category and might think we may not need the vaccine. And this might explain why uptake of the new vaccine is still relatively low overall. Consider this data. In Marin, only 30% of us have gotten the updated vaccine. Remember, if you haven't had a COVID shot since August of last year, you're not up to date and you haven't gotten that latest vaccine we're describing here. While Marin vaccine rates are among the highest in the state, that's small reassurance because the fact is most of us are not taking advantage of the latest and best protection. So that's the first message. This study reinforces that the current vaccine has benefit for everyone because it cuts the risk of any level of illness in half and reduces that risk that you'll be infected and infect others if you're exposed. The second important question this study helps answer is how effective is the vaccine against the current circulating JN1 variant? This is an important question for us in Marin. Because again, looking at our data, 90% of the samples tested since mid-December in our county are JN1. At this point, any new infections we can assume are most likely due to JN1. Fortunately, we're not seeing evidence of increased severity of illness with this variant, but we know it has properties that allow it to spread more quickly than any other prior variant we've seen. So it's reassuring to see evidence that the current vaccine is effective against the current dominating strain. In terms of exposure risk, after a decline in early January, we're seeing signs of a second spike in COVID cases in Marin County. Wastewater levels are on the rise, and this means we're all more likely to be exposed when we're out and about. We know that masks are a critical tool for preventing infection when we're exposed. And remember, it's especially important for people who have tested positive to wear a mask in public for at least 10 days. But this study says that the current vaccine offers that kind of protection too, like masks, by making infection less likely when we're exposed, in addition to protecting against serious illness or death if we are infected. So to summarize, COVID-19 levels are rising in Marin, driven by the JN1 variant. Our shared risk of exposure is increasing. At the same time, most of us are not protected by the current updated vaccine. This new CDC study tells us that getting vaccinated will protect us, all of us, not just those who are at highest risk, by preventing infection and any level of illness, which will also protect our loved ones and those we come in contact with. We also in this vaccine will slow the spread of JN1 specifically as we see it accelerating across our community. I hear sometimes that we're over COVID-19, that it's a thing of the past. I wish it were. Things are definitely better than they were. Our policies have progressively become less restrictive, but we still need to pay attention and respond. COVID-19 is still the leading cause of infectious disease, hospitalization, death in our community. COVID is now part of our environment and is still a pretty young virus in the scheme of things. As new variants emerge, they carry new risks. Marin Public Health will continue to monitor the latest research and apply it to our community using local data to inform your choices as well as we can. Thank you for doing your part.